right. So what on earth is going on with the social media landscape? Um, I did a video maybe a week ago, not too long ago on Twitter. You know, that's its own kerfuffle with, I think, Elon Musk has completely lost his mind. Um, but that's that's the other videos. So take a look at that. But now, today, I wanted to address the metaverse. <laughs> Well, and Google. But Meta, of course, is the new name for Facebook slash Instagram. And it's really interesting because here in Canada, um, they are now threatening, or they probably will, cut us off from accessing news media on their platforms. Now, I believe it was in 2021. This happened in Australia. And Australia, again, wanted to pass a bill. Uh, Meta decided to cut all news media, which they did. And so the government actually um, negotiated with Meta, Facebook. Actually, it was Facebook at the time. Um, and they sort of came to an agreement. So actually, um, Facebook was only down in terms of news media for about a week. So they threatened, but they, they sort of backed down. Now, the whole issue here is that what the government has realized um, is that the organizations that are suffering are the news agencies. Now, not so much the big news agencies, but a lot of smaller news agencies are going out of business. Um, so Facebook is, of course, raking in revenue at the expense of news that's being posted on their sites. So governments are saying, you know what, you need to pay these news media organizations. And actually, in Australia, um, I believe they paid something like $190 million out to news media organizations. Okay, so now flip to Canada. We're now facing the same thing. Canada has basically passed what it calls Bill C-18. It's the Online News Act. And in its structure of the bill, it's actually um, less flexible and less in the favor of the social media companies. So there's not a lot of wiggle room. So Facebook, i.e. Meta, has basically said that over the coming weeks, coming months, they're going to be chopping news media. Now, interestingly enough, as a pre-threat, um, they they chopped news media access to about 5% of Canadian um, customers for Facebook. So they did like a little tester, but now they're going to be cutting us off altogether. Interestingly enough, in parallel, Google has now cut off uh, news media uh, access on their platform. So it's very interesting. And I think looking at this journey, you know, social media came into effect, right? It was like this shiny new bubble um, that everybody was very excited about. We all got on the bandwagon. You had Twitter over here and you had Facebook over there, LinkedIn. I mean, they're not all connected. They're owned by different companies. Uh, then Instagram became part of Facebook. Then Facebook became Meta, the Metaverse. It's all very threatening, right? I liken it to the Death Star in in uh, in Star Wars. Quite frankly, they're up there, you know, pilfering all of our uh, information. But of course, nobody was regulating this space. Nobody was regulating the Metaverse. Um, and now they're realizing with, you know, hate speech and privacy laws um, and the, the negative sides to what's happening on Twitter and Facebook, etc., especially as it, 
you know, really came to a head with the elections in the U.S. and Donald Trump fueling that negative energy, that hatred. Now governments are saying, you know, we need to crack down. And actually, there are other uh, countries such as the United Kingdom who are also thinking of doing this. So that's that's the picture, right? And it's a bit of a schmozzle because, to be honest, the government or governments don't really understand the metaverse. So they're fumbling around trying to create policy on something that they don't actually understand. And that's, that's the issue that we're at. So my question is, who is the devil in this particular scenario? So obviously, the government is saying that Meta um, is the devil, right? They're not agreeing to the passing of this bill. Um, and they're basically saying, well, you know what? Fine. And in response, Meta is shutting news off to everyone. Okay. But let's look at it at, at another angle. To be honest, in terms of the news organizations, if Meta were to pay out money every year, and, and the problem with this, this bill that the Canadians have created is that it's, it's not really capped, right? So it, it could be huge amounts of money. It could be within reason. And that's what, that's what um, Meta doesn't like. But if, if they're paying out money to news organizations, likely the ones that are going to be beneficiaries of this money are going to be the large agencies, not the smaller ones that A, are going out of business, B, that really need the money, and C, they also need the profile, the public profile on, um, on social media. So... It's, it's blurry, and I'm interested to see how this plays out. But the other, uh, the other sort of angle to this or perspective is, what about us? What about the, the users? So obviously, I, I use Facebook. I use Instagram. I have many clients that use Facebook and Instagram, and I mentioned this in my Twitter video, that, you know, even though Twitter may become a conservative site full of hate speech right now, I'm still um, suggesting Twitter as a platform to clients. I'm still on Twitter. Facebook, same thing. Facebook is great in terms of, you know, the different groups um, that organizations can get their message out to in terms of creating awareness. Instagram has its own benefits. But if the company, the mother company, the metaverse, is really, you know, first they had their issues with privacy, and we don't really know where that ended up. Um, you know, they're still collecting huge amounts of data on us. And now, and now we have this, right? They're basically saying, we will block content because we feel like it. So how, as users, are we supposed to feel? And I mentioned this also in the Twitter video. It's difficult for us ethically to walk away from these platforms. You know, I take Instagram as an example. I've been posting pictures on Instagram for at least 10 years now. So this becomes my online album of my life. It is, you know, we don't do physical pictures anymore. Uh, we don't create albums. Not many of us do anyway. And so posting to Instagram isn't just about getting likes and interacting with people. We know it is a place that is documenting our lives. So Meta has us in a bit of a pickle. 
because to walk away from that is painful. So we basically, they've, they've got one arm behind our backs. So we as consumers are in an ethical and emotional dilemma. So anyway, I wanted to make this video because, okay, this is what's happening in Canada. Likely you're not even in Canada, but it may affect you too. It's happened in Australia. It's happening in here. It might happen in the United Kingdom. To be honest, I think there are a lot of countries that are watching and waiting to see how all of this pans out. So we shall see. As usual, I would love to hear your comments if you're watching this video and your thoughts. I am an open book. Um, I'm not going one way or another. Uh, I'm just interested to know your feedback on this topic from your perspective. Thanks for watching.